Meteorologist Sam Coughlin here with a look at your forecast. And we got some snow yesterday, a little bit more than expected over the Berkshire Savoy, Massachusetts, four and a half inches. Then across parts of the Catskills abroad, two to four inches. Albany checked in with just over an inch. And that's where we have our Fryhofer sky cam. It's kind of a gloomy, cloudy look outside. Temperatures hovering right around 20 degrees across the area, cooler over the north country. But we'll bounce back pretty nicely today as we're going to be on the milder side of this warm front as it lifts off to the north. It's associated with this weak low pressure system that's going to swing across the area and give parts of the north country a few snow showers today. So a minor nuisance event today for the north country, but a more significant storm that was over the southwest. Very historic storm is going to race up to the northeast by tomorrow night and will be affecting us tomorrow night through Tuesday. Hour by hour today, Cloudy day for the most part, more breaks to the south. Where you do get more breaks, you could see temperatures rise into the mid 40s. A stray sprinkle around, but the best risk would be north of the area where it could be in the form of a few snow showers. See that well right over here. Snow showers mainly across the north country. Minor accumulation is possible over the higher terrain, maybe a coating to an inch. You see some breaks in the clouds, especially south of Albany. Once again, those areas could break out into the mid 40s. Clouds start to dissipate a little bit overnight tonight. We'll start tomorrow with some more sunshine, but overcast skies quickly take over in advance of our next system. Here it goes across the country. It basically redevelops off the coast and that will be a colder solution for our area. So we're not too concerned about much mixing around here. Snow breaking out, like I mentioned, 6 to 8 o'clock. Heaviest overnight Monday into Tuesday. Track is pretty set, but there is still time for it to wobble a little bit. And any sort of wobble could drastically alter some of those snow totals. It does push out by Tuesday afternoon into the evening. So in terms of your travel cast, if you have plans through 8 o'clock tomorrow, you shouldn't have any issues getting around. But then it quickly ramps up in a hurry after 8 o'clock through the overnight hour Monday and into the morning commute on Tuesday. That could be a very disruptive time. Snow coming down perhaps up to an inch an hour. So very be very careful for that Tuesday morning commute. I would not be surprised to see widespread school cancellations. Then a low impact during the afternoon. It's more of a scattered snow showers during your afternoon. So here's a preliminary look at potential snowfall numbers. Six to nine inches across the mountains of New England. Six to nine over the Catskills in between in Albany, Schenectady, Saratoga, Glens Falls and the Hudson Valley. Three to six is a good bet right now. And because of that, we have winter storm watches over those areas that are expected to see the highest totals. But I expect everyone to at least go over to an advisory. So for tonight, we will be mostly to partly cloudy temperatures in the upper teens to low 20s. Breezy early, but those winds pull back tomorrow. Winds a bit breezy at times, 10 to 15 miles per hour. More AM sun, clouds take over quickly in the afternoon. Some snow breaking out between, say, 6 and 8 o'clock. Temperatures getting up to the mid-30s. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. You see that alert day Monday night into Tuesday. Then some showers, but a lot milder Wednesday into Thursday. And we're going to have to watch late week for a potential storm.